What's good, man? It's your boy, J. Charles, man. Checking in for episode three of Chopping It Up with J. Charles. Now, look, football season is approaching, bro. Go ahead, pick your team now. Because I don't want to hear in the middle of the season, week eight, when this team doing good or this team undefeated. Now, all of a sudden, you're a damn Titans fan or you're a Jacksonville fan. Like, bro, we ain't trying to hear that. So, go ahead, pick your team now. See, I'm letting it be known. You know, I got to go with the home team, the Saints. I know that's a little confusing because, yeah, I'm a Saints fan, and yes, I do like Alabama. But if you're from Louisiana, you understand. If you're not, you probably won't. But that's just how it is, bro. But, yeah, but look, the first thing I want to talk about today, bro, let, let, let's just go ahead and address the elephant in the room. Yeah, I know the last episode I was talking about, Errol Spencer's going to take the belt, but it just ain't work out like that. It just ain't work out like that, and it's all good. Terrence Crawford put on a hell of a performance. I was really shocked. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna sit here and lie to y'all. Like I was legit shocked. Like the way it turned out. I really thought that even if uh if Terrence would have won, it would have been more of a slug fest. Like they both was gonna go out. Like <laughs> neither one of them was a bit trying to lose. But Terrence Crawford, they came in with a good plan. Like he said, he came in with that stiff jab. We all know Errol Spence have a good jab. So whenever he took away that jab, like, you know, he kind of just neutralized everything. He wasn't able to set up his combos right. I know a lot of people was like, oh, it looked like something was wrong, but that's what was wrong. Every time he tried to throw it to every time he tried to pop that jab out, Terrence Crawford just came back with his jab. And we all know Terrence Crawford got those long arms, so. Man, that, that was kind of hard to get around. And he was hitting him with a stiff jab. I was like, Lord have mercy. Every time, he was just he just come in, and he just was popping that thing off. Now, Errol Spence still went out. He 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 still he still went out like a fighter. Like, he fell. It don't matter how many times he fell, he still got back up. You feel me? My boy still got back up, so give my boy some credit for that. But at the end of the day, we still around with Errol. Yeah, he might not be undisputed, but it's other weak classes. It's other week classes, bro. Terrence put on a hell of a performance. He just wanted them. He, he he just wanted them, bro. And my boxing fans know what that mean. Like he just wanted them. Like Floyd Mayweather used to beat fighters back in the day, and he 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 would make fighters that was real good just look regular. <laughs> like Cotto, Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley was pretty good against him though, but. Shane, y'all remember Zab Judah? Like, they all had a little success, but man, once Floyd figured it out, it was over. Like, it was the same thing with, with, with Terrence Condor. The beginning of the fight was pretty good. I feel like Arrow won that first round, but then after that, it just started to get Condor. Once Terrence figured out what he wanted to do, it, it, it was a long night, man. It was a long night. I have I have my boy up in here. He was trash talking me, but yeah, it's all good. In in the whole house though, man, we had a house. Man, we probably had like man, like ten people here. But it was one dude that said, "Yeah, I think Crawford will win." Everybody else is arrow. And then my partner, in the middle of the fight, this boy, this boy was switching the middle of the fight. That boy went from arrow to Crawford in the middle of the fight. Like ah nah, bro, you can't be doing that now. Nah. But Overall, I'm satisfied. I want. I, I do want to see part two because I feel like Arrow make those adjustments. I, I feel like it'll be a. I feel like the the fight will be a lot more competitive than that first fight. But either way, it goes gonna be a hard fight because uh, I think Terrence Crawford he just showed you know great instincts, great willpower. I feel like them trash talking that boy before lit a fire in him. Man, my boy, my boy was like, man, every time he would punch that man, it looked like he had a point to prove. And I agree. Like, he he he, he was not holding back on them punches because he would find them thing off. But, yeah, man. So, now I dress the elephant in the room. Y'all know Errol Spence, my guy. We still ride with him. But we just didn't get undisputed. But, look, it's all good. It's just part of the game, man. You win some, you lose some. 
it's part of the game. But look at other news. If y'all ain't know, I had my I had my first kid, man. I had my first kid. And all the stuff they tell you is true, bro. Being up, baby crying in the middle of the night. Bro, it's all true, bro. I ain't, I ain't even gonna sit here and hold you. It's all true. You gonna be up, you gonna be tired. My partner telling you, like, man, you better enjoy the sleep now. Every time I talk to one of my family members, y'all been getting enough sleep? I understand why they asking that now. <laughs> I understand why they was asking that now, man. But yeah, it been good, man. Overall, he don't really cry too much. He just whine a little bit when he hungry. But other than that, I really can't complain, man. Sweet little boy. Now he already taking my stuff, man. I, I done said I, I got a I got a chain, man. It's like a little diamond pendant. It say G. I'm like, man, I think I'm gonna give it to him. My dog taking my stuff already, huh? <laughs> my dog taking my stuff already. But you know, everything been good. It just been, you know, late nights, early mornings. Look like a popular city, but it been late nights, early mornings. He only really cry whenever he need, whenever he want to eat though. So that's good. He don't really, he don't really just be crying like to be held and whatnot. As long as long as you got on swatter, that my 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 boy be good. <laughs> so yeah, man. Now one other thing I need to talk about, man. Now if you know me, you know. It's no bigger Rod Wave fan than me, man. Real talk. That's real talk, man. I remember me and my boy, we went to, uh, we was up in Florida in like 2018. That's how long I've been listening to Rod Wave, bro, 2018. My, 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 my boy ain't even had all these albums and stuff he got. Man, I think the song he had out then was like, uh, like Half a Cell. Me, I used to like, um, Jumanji. Jumanji. Hunger Games, I like that old Raw Wave, man. All, all, but every, it's like every fan say that. Every fan say that, man. Everybody like whenever all this first come out. But luckily for me, that boy Raw Wave, he 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 still producing. He still been going strong. Still been doing his thing. You know. And honestly, I'm just happy to be a part of the Raw, bro. Not like I'm part of the team or nothing, but y'all know what I mean. As a fan. As a number one fan, you dig? <laughs> but yeah, man, I got to go see my boy in concert for that Soul Fly. I remember when the Soul Fly came out and I first heard that thing, bro. I can't even explain the feeling. It's like I was right. <laughs> I was right, bro. When it comes to music, I be knowing, bro. I always tell people, whenever you're listening to a new artist, you can't listen to it for the quality. You got to listen to it for what it could be, you know. Because who who have all this money to just be sending it to the best mixer, the best master, right when you're starting out? You got to listen to it for what it could be like. And for me, Raw Wave, the substance always been there. Like it always been there. So it, it, it was just easy and natural to become a fan. I heard one song. It's so funny. I really became a Raw Wheel fan on accident. Shout out to that ball marketing team. Because whoever did this right here, genius. Man, they was like, I was on Facebook. This was back in 2018. They was like, uh, man, Kevin Kevin gets little brother. Kevin gets little brother. Like, uh, he going crazy on this song. Nah, number one, I'm from Louisiana. So I should have been, I should have been smart enough to know. Bro, this man is not Kevin Gates' brother. I would have been heard about this man. But still, I clicked it, and it was that goddamn it be over for what even but gun I own. Catch feelings, feelings that chin, then I run. I don't, bro, I heard that. He damn that been my favorite artist since then. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. And some other music news, though. Big Evil? Man, this Big Evil album hard, man. I appreciate Big Evil because... Man, that man had something new, bro. This man, Flo, 
ain't, ain't too many people that really could flew a big evil like that for real. Like Big Evil, I, I see Big Evil, like with Rodden Beats, him, Moneybag Yo, be Rodden Beats crazy. Uh, let me think who else. Oh, uh, man, my mind drawing blink. But Moneybag Yo is one I know for sure that I could say, like, when Moneybag Yo be getting on a beat, he could sway that thing out. I know y'all heard that that song. He be like, a lot of things it goes. It's a whole bunch of motion involved. That shit old. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. That song right there is old. That song right there is old. But look. Shout out to Big Evil. He got the album. It just came out. I think it came out on Friday. Uh, Let me see. Friday was the... It came out Friday. Golly. Man, this thing coming doing all kind of stuff just to check the beat, bro. That thing came out Friday. The It came out on the eighteenth. For time references, today is the twenty first. So, yeah, it came out Friday, so I done jammed that thing over the weekend. 30 bars? <laughs> bro, I cannot stop listening to 30 bars and spoon fed, bro. 30 bars and spoon fed. Uh, freestyle, that's hard, too. And then and then he got that one uh with the, with the clip from Friday. He be like, I heard you had the problem with Big Snake and Big Worm. Big worm, big snake. I don't get big. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Man, that thing had me. That, 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 that thing too funny, bro. Friday, that's a classic movie. Just watching that thing the other day. It's like every time you watch that movie, it get funny and funny. You know what I'm saying? But look, I got the scenes get on. You know, the scenes they 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 been doing their thing in the preseason. But like I tell everybody. The Saints do this to us every year, bro. They do this to us every year. The Saints be going crazy in the preseason, bro. They always be they, they always good in the preseason. So I'm gonna keep it a book. I ain't even about to sit here and sugarcoat a lot of y'all. I ain't watching not one preseason game, and I'm not gonna watch them because I ain't get my hopes up to be like this. I was gonna be in the regular season. I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, man, we was killing, man. Our first team, our second team, everything, everybody was good. Then that first game will come, and it's going to be a whole different story when them starters out there the whole time, man. So, I don't, I don't really like watching the preseason. It's just me. Like, I'm going to watch the highlights, but that's about it. I ain't putting the game on now. Putting the game on is too far. Putting the game on is too far, bro. But, uh, yeah, I so... I I ain't got I ain't got a whole bunch of a whole bunch of stuff for y'all for the Saints, but that's what I'm saying. I just want to see how Derek Carr do, cause I I feel like the biggest thing we're missing is a good solid quarterback. We having a good quarterback in the NFL it stabilizes your franchise. So if you don't have a good a a a quarterback that you could count on year in and year out, it's gonna be hard to build. Cause that's the number one thing that you could be trying to find and replace. And it builds zero continuity. Like, I'm going to give you an example. Me, I well, I'm going to say I used to play flag. I used to play flag a whole bunch. Bro, when you go from one quarterback to another, they all throw it a little different. <laughs> they look a little different coming out. You might have one throw with the left hand, one throw with the right. They all look a little different. They all look a little different. I'm going to say this, dude. I do kind of like those left-hand quarterbacks, honestly. Because... If I'm not mistaken, it's a guy. So I hear we uh we do a lot of pickup football, a lot of pickup flag. Well, at least we did. I haven't been out there in a couple of years, but we did. So with pickup flag, uh, it's a guy here. He runs it. His name is Trey. So Trey, to me, Trey was always my favorite quarterback. Trey and Daryl. It been a while. Now look at that boy, Daryl. 
That boy Daryl doing his thing with them, uh, with the videos and whatnot. That boy doing his thing. That boy, that boy down there like a pioneer for real. I remember that boy. He, he first he was still coming out. Well, I ain't gonna say this when he started, but from my memory, he would always he would come out and he would uh he would play football, but he also would take a couple pictures. Like whenever you get on the sideline, he'd take some pictures. Then he started doing the videos, and then man, I seen that boy on ESPN. After that, that boy was up. That boy was taking off. That boy doing this thing, man, real inspirational because I seen it. It's different whenever you see it, bro. When you see it from the beginning, it's different. I feel that's why, like, Rod weird so much because I seen it from the beginning, like, the very beginning. Before it was even 100,000 view videos, we was there. And it just kept building and building and building, bro. But that's how it be. But... One other thing I need to talk about, bro. Gaming season. So, one thing I want to know is how everybody feel about this new Madden. Because this is the first time since 2014 that I have not purchased Madden. This is the first time I have not purchased Madden. So, I don't know if it's because I'm a father now or... But yeah, I, I didn't cop Madden this year, man. It just it, it it just didn't have enough to sell me. Uh I do have the trial though. I've been playing the trial. I think I got about I got about seven hours left. And I've been having that thing for about five days. I got about seven hours left, so yeah. By the time I'm done with this trial, two gig will be out. And then that's what I'm gonna be on. Madden for me. The thing that did mess up on this year was not having uh not having crossplay franchise right out the door, man. One of my partners told me that it's coming, but by the time that come out, man, I'm gonna be on I'm gonna be on 2K playing crossplay with my partners, man. Me and my cousin about to be in the pug look. Wreaking havoc. <laughs> you feel me? We about to be in that pug look going crazy. And we got the chemistry. It's about to be up, bro. But yeah, man, I, I didn't get Madden. Not feeling it. Madden, I, I don't know what y'all gonna do, man. At the NFL, y'all need to let two kids start making a game. Like I, I do not feel bad for Madden, man. We we gave these boys so many chances. And me, I'm a franchise player, so I don't care about all that uh that mud. Mud, all these extra game modes, superstar mode, like it's not gonna sell me. Like if the franchise mode is not good, I'm not playing it. Like, they added a couple of things, but for the most part, it's still the same thing. Like, I was telling my cousin, man, whenever it comes to Madden, well, when it comes to a franchise game, I want to get lost in my team. Like, I want to get lost in it. It need to be so much stuff to do on my team that I, bro, I'm not even looking at other rosters. When I'm going to figure out other teams got good players is when I play them. <laughs> like, 2K, I'll go look at their roster every once in a while because, you know, 2K got a deep, man, the players, they be complaining. Your coaches complain. Make it, it make you feel like you're a real GM. <laughs> you really got to put in real work. Like I know me, man. I be having people on, on, on my team ready to get to complaining too much. Trade this fool. <laughs> Trade him, bro. And I'm pretty sure that's how it be in real life. But I'm complaining every week. I, need, I deserve to start. I deserve to start. Like, brother, you are 65 overall. You are 65 overall, and it's LeBron James in front of you. You're not getting on the court. I might give you four five minutes, and and that's just a that, that's just to let you see the court. But really and truly, I don't owe you nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't owe you nothing. Good luck. Good luck. But yeah, man, I'm 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 excited for 2K this year though. I'm excited for 2K. Uh. I do I do like that they're gonna let us do the cross play. Cross play in the park. Cross play in the wreck. Because like, man, it been too long, bro. We all know people. Like for instance, I'm gonna give you an example. Me. I'm not getting no Xbox, bro. <laughs> bro, I do not care, bro. I am a PlayStation guy. I've been having PlayStation since PlayStation 1. I've been getting PlayStation since PlayStation 1. I had a PlayStation 1. I had a PS2 when it first came out. 
I had a PS3 DS that came out. A PS4? I think I bought my own PS4. Yeah, I bought my own PS4. So I got my own PS4. PS5, I got that. I, I got the PS5 when it dropped. So yeah, man. I ain't going to Xbox. But we all know people that whatever games they got, that's who they with, bro. If there's playing, if they're playing uh Xbox back in the gap, they're gonna be playing Xbox now. And that's just how it is. That's just how it is. But it's real good that they're starting to, you know, allow us to play with the other consoles because realistically, what what do the what 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 Bro, what, what can the game lose? The only people that's going to lose is the consoles. <laughs> Keeping it a bug. The consoles could lose because, okay. Let's say PlayStation is let's say PlayStation is a better system than Xbox. And I could still play with my Xbox friends if I get a PlayStation. Why would I get an Xbox? <laughs> you feel me? So, the gaming companies lose nothing. Is is the console. The consoles was gonna lose, but at the end of the day, I appreciate them doing what's best for the consumer. Because at the end of the day, we give y'all hard earned money every year. And we don't ask for much. Bro, y'all could give us one big feature. You remember back in the day whenever we used to go to the store and we used to get all the madness? And we used to look on the back of the box and see what they have? Bro, we want them back of the box features. That's it. That's all we ask for. That's all we ask for, bro. But uh, there is a football game that's coming out. Um, Maximum football. I'm pretty excited about that because uh, you could play, you could play as like college, NFL, and it's gonna be free to play. So honestly, I ain't getting mad because I'm getting that. I ain't gotta spend a dollar. I could customize what I want. It look like the franchise way deeper. It got a fr- bro. You can go from college. You could have a college uh, team, and then whenever your college players graduate, you could draft them into the into the pros, all on one game. Come on, bro. Them ball putting pressure on Madden, and they're not even a triple A. Uh, they're not even a triple A uh, gaming studio. Them ball probably like a double A or something, but still, like they ain't they ain't small like indie, but. Bro, man, hit us for 70 every year. Everybody. Damn, they everybody house you go to, they, they got mad. Well, they had it. This house don't got it no more. <laughs> but, yeah. It is what it is. Hopefully, man, get it together. Because, uh, yeah, we ain't playing with y'all no more. Gaming companies, bro, we're not playing with y'all no more, man. We give y'all the chance. I see a couple people mad about this 2K sub 2 with the season pass. Like, bro, y'all want me to get a season pass in the game is... First of all, nobody will get the seventy dollar game. The game go be a hundred dollars because we need the VC. Like who, who's about to pay seventy dollars and then buy more VC? When I could have just spent an extra thirty and get like seventy dollars worth of VC or fifty dollars worth of VC. Like come on, man. The math ain't math. Thing. <laughs> but they is kind of wild for that. I see two K is wild for that. That they got that they want us to pay with a season pass and Brian ain't getting no season pass. I'm I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the game however it come. Like for real. I'm gonna get the game however it come. But yeah, man. I appreciate y'all sitting here chopping it up with me. Like I said, it's episode three of chopping it up with J Charles. Pick your team now. Because whenever the season starts. We is not trying to hate you bandwagon fans, bro. Every year. I ain't never seen a, C- a, a Seattle Seahawks fan until them boys is nice. And now I don't see them again. I ain't seen nobody with no Geno Smith jersey on. I ain't even seen a Metcalf jersey. Come on, man. The Seahawks had their good run. Nah, nah. And now their fans going too. That's how it be, though, bro. You got to pick a team and stick with them. Like me, I don't care what the scenes do. I don't care what the Saints do. I don't care what the Mavericks do. I don't care what the Rangers do. And I don't care what Alabama do. That's my team, and I'm going to stick beside them, man. It's Jay Charles, man. I'm out.